Hi, good morning everyone. This is Deborah. Welcome to my channel. I talk a lot about uh, sex and hormone replacement therapy, which is HRT. And I hear from so many men that women over 50 are uh, not interested in sex or they lose their sex drive. So this video is for you and her. Okay. Uh, I've been on bioidentical hormones for way over, I guess, 25 years. And I believe it is the secret as to why I look younger than my 67 years. And uh, so pay attention. You might want to get a, a pen to write with. But when you go into your gynecologist, they're gonna take a lot of things into consideration. I have notes here. Your weight. Uh, you may be one of these people that are very sensitive to uh, estrogen, uh, but there's other alternatives, uh, especially if uh, you uh, are prone to having breast cancer. So your doctor will take all this into consideration. So. This is the latest thing, and I first found out about it about two years ago from my ex-husband. Um, he told me that he has got testosterone inserted into his buttocks, and I thought that was just so bizarre. Well, I've been on uh, Estradiol and Primarin and testosterone, but mine is made from a compounding pharmacy where I just rub it on my hip uh, you have to make sure you rub it in all the way. But I did not know that this was something for women because women do need testosterone and that is what you're lacking if you have lost the desire to make love. So this is what you do. You have to lay on a table and they will uh, rub your buttocks with lidocaine and they will use the same gauge needle as when you get Botox, which is a 30 gauge. It is a, a two millimeter poke in your skin and they will put a pellet in that little canal. Some of you may need two pellets, it depends on, you know, you can also get the estrogen through there and also your testosterone. So you're gonna feel a little pressure at some burning and um, it's about five seconds. And, so this is this lasts i guess about three months i'm thinking three months um yeah and your doctor will definitely cover the area and uh maybe even give you some more lidocaine lidocaine is what uh it is a numbing thing it's used and surgeries uh if you're getting botox they they you can ask for seven percent uh, who knew but your doctor should definitely make sure that they do have lidocaine when they are doing this it feels like a little bee sting and if you're used to getting botox it's the same little prick right <laughs> little prick yeah so look into this you will have to contact your your gynecologist for this and you will have to get tested now 25 years ago uh there was only one compounding pharmacy and it was in a wisconsin i believe and they took um saliva samples from me and i think they took urine they didn't take blood but um i'm not sure but i would like to have this done uh so i need to make an appointment so uh hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something from it and uh, show it to your uh the lady in your life and uh i think this is uh it's come a long way because women have always been a little neglected in the medical field when it's come to such things because men have their viagra well women can get this uh, testosterone you do need a little bit and women lose a certain amount every year just like men do so check it out all right bye